He said, my dad burned me up. I said, what happened? He said, my dad burned me up. Those frantic words after a father doused his teenage son and daughter with hot oil. His... Why do we even need reality TV when life itself is the reality? Today's video, we're talking about a news story that happened last week that was hot. A man, Jamaican man in New York, tried to kill his family with hot oil and almost set the whole entire apartment building on fire. We're going to take a look at that and what I try to do in my video that's a little different is figure out what is a life gain that can be made from these situations. Let's get into it. What's good, YouTube? You're back in the building with the all knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. Just damn all everything. The sex is hell host. We're bringing you life game news, trending news video today, and we've got a crazy nutcase. But before we do that, I got to put on my plus seven glasses of the sexy as hell, work on skilling up my craft, giving you a better YouTube experience, something better to look at. Please subscribe to this channel if you're brand new. There's no sponsor today, but I would like for you guys to click down the video description, join my email list. When I get discounts, when I get freebies that they give me, I'll pass them to you via email. If you got questions or comments, or you want me to do a video on something, you can hit me there. Also subscribe to the Life Gains Fitness channel, also in the video description. So today, we're talking about a Jamaican man who had his whole extended family living with him in an apartment complex in New York. Brother was down on his luck, couldn't get a job. I imagine he wasn't getting no pussy either. And he had all his people living up in an apartment and he probably just got stressed out, maybe worried about taking care of the family, maybe worried about not having sex, whatever. And he decides that he wants to get rid of all of it. Wakes up one morning like, damn, F them. Take a look at this news clip and we'll come back and finish it. His 19-year-old daughter was also holding her two-month-old baby boy. I look at his back. His back is burned from his neck go down. And, I, and the little girl run downstairs with the baby. And when I look, the baby got burned here and she burned from it to toes. This neighbor, Dawn Breckenage, called 911 around 1030 Friday morning. The teens and the baby were able to escape, but still inside their fifth floor apartment here on 236th Street in the Wakefield section was the man's 60-year-old mother and 87-year-old grandmother. Police say he also threw hot oil on them, then apparently set a couch on fire. That burning couch trapped the women inside the apartment. When I went outside the hallway, I noticed there was a lot of smoke. I heard the yelling from the sixth, from the fifth floor, and it, this was going on for a long time. This video from the Citizens app shows firefighters attacking flames and thick smoke from a fire escape, while neighbors watched in complete shock. Police immediately arrested the 41-year-old man who allegedly set out to hurt his entire family. When they took him out, they, they had him handcuffed behind his back and they rushed him to the police car. And how did he look? He looked at disturbed. And you heard the neighbor there saying that the man looked disturbed. His son said his father was down on his luck. He could not find a job. So he's a bit angry about that. He came to this country from the island of Jamaica trying to find work, but he was unsuccessful. Still, the neighbors, family members never expected this. The only good news, all of those family members were talking about the ones burned with the hot oil. Well, they're all expected to be okay. In the meantime, police are still waiting to charge the man we're talking about. For Can y'all believe that? Dude barricaded the door. Dude spilled hot oil on his daughter who was holding the baby at the time. Like what in the hell, what kind of stress was he going through? Ain't no pussy worth that. Ain't no not having a job worth that. There is no situation that that should cause you to wake up out of your dreams to think you should go and kill your whole family. Now, leave me some comments about what do you think I'm gonna say is the life gain? The life gain in this situation is ladies and gentlemen, when someone is going through stress and they don't realize it, 
and you're a loved one in their circle, bring it to their attention that they might need to seek counseling. I know in the African American community, and this guy was Jamaican, it is taboo for us to want to go get counseling. We don't think we need it. We feel like we can just handle situations. You can tough it out. That's what counseling is for, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody I believe on this planet probably needs counseling once or twice a year. Some of us are tough enough to get over our demons. And the other thing I thought about with this guy, his family might not have known it. There hasn't been any speculation to it yet. But what if all the stress he was dealing with caused him to start taking some drugs, which amped up those feelings that was inside of him and caused him to go and do this crazy heinous act. Now, I'm so proud of all the people in that apartment complex that instead of trying to record this stuff with their phones to get a YouTube moment, they all came together, apprehended this dude and held him down. And while they was holding him down, he was still yelling that he wants to kill his family. I mean, he needed some help. So my life gain that I want you guys to take away from this video is we all go through things in life. And yes, it's the man's man's thing to say, tough that shit out, right? But everybody ain't that strong. And no matter how tough you are, you all need to vent. Don't be afraid to go get counseling. If you're feeling impending doom, if you're feeling like the walls are closing in on you too tight, ladies and gentlemen, go get counseling. Counseling is not as expensive as it used to be. It may or may not be covered under your health insurance, but there's apps that do counseling for $30. There's great therapists out there that do pro bono work. Find yourself a therapist. If you're into religion, go to your pastor, but find someone you can vent to to let you get this burden off your shoulders so that you don't wake up and do something that you might regret. And that's gonna be your life game for the day on this video. But y'all leave me comments about what you think, how this played out, and what would have been your life game to make things happen a little differently in this situation. That's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment and subscribe. Go get yourself a life game. And until that next sexy as hell video, I'll see you.